What's it like driving an electric vehicle in the mountains? Let's find out. I'm Jess Hoover with the High Country Conservation Center, and this is Myth Busting with HC3. Today, I'm meeting Silverthorne local Corey Weatherall. Corey drives a 2019 Volkswagen Eagle. I'll be asking him how he charges his car around the county. Is it really just as easy as pumping gas? Hey, Corey. Hey, Jess. Hey, okay. See you at the basin. <laughs> Isn't this one of the most beautiful charging stations in all of Summit County? I mean, I pretty much just drove out of my way to charge and get the views. So you don't have a garage at your house. Where do you do most of your charging? Luckily, I live in a place that's so focused on sustainability that countywide we have chargers wherever you want to go, even here at the beautiful A Basin. So I wanted to talk to you today about charging because it's something that I think is really intimidating to non-EV yeah. drivers. So I was hoping that you could show me how you charge your car so that we can show everybody watching that it's really not intimidating at all. Yeah, I, we came to A Basin, so let's get this started. All right. Well, this is a nice day, isn't it? All right, so I'm pulling up to a charging station. Yes. What do I do first? First things first, if you touch that price button. Uh-huh. Hey, it's free. That's awesome. Thanks, yeah. A Basin. Exactly. All right, now what? So we just open up our charge point app. OK. Once we have the charge point app open, it's going to show where things are. Oh, and it knows exactly where we are. So you just hold your phone up. Yep. It reads the card. Cool, all right. Oh, and I heard a click. Yep, lets me know I can take this guy out. OK. Slide it out. All right. It's going to stretch. Bring it over. Just plug this guy in. You're gonna hear it click. I heard it click over there. Clicks there, it's gonna click here. On my phone, the app says I'm charging And the phone too. shows it to you as well. And I can see where my charge is during the day. Yeah. So if I was here to ski, I could go you ski. You could totally check your phone. Check to see if I get over the pass and head down to Denver. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, when you are driving around, are you seeking out businesses that have charging stations to go to? I think a big thing for me is finding businesses that are committed to sustainability, but yeah. also making it so my life's a little bit easier. Yeah. So if I need to run an errand, if there's a charger there, I'm more likely to shop at that business. Corey, thank you so much for taking the time to come up here and hang out with me today at this beautiful charging station at the Basin. I certainly feel less stressed about charging after talking to you, and I hope everybody watching does too. Yeah, of course. Anytime I get to hang out with you, HC3, and charge my car up here at A-Basin is A-OK -okay to me. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other videos about the importance of driving electric, performance, and taking road trips. Until next time, I'm Jess Hoover with the High Country Conservation Center. We've been chatting with Corey Weatherall about his Volkswagen e-golf, and you just watched Myth Busting with HC3.